Hello everyone, it's Bubbles from Venom Fluid Art. Thank you for joining us on an another amazing adventure on the Fluid Art Express this week, joined by our extended art family of the Tea Bag Collaboration. With the amazing Grandma Kathy, we had Creations by Tonya, we had August Acrylic Art and Creations from the Table. And what an amazing adventure they brought to us this week. So thank you guys for joining us. We greatly appreciated it and it was absolutely amazing. So what I am going to do today, I've been playing around with um, different colour pillow paints. So I just want to see what this new idea I've sort of been playing with is going to come out like. So I thought I'd take you on the adventure with me lead you down the garden path with me and let's see what we can come up with so i've got a deep sided canvas today it's a 12 by 12 and we're going to start off we've got the big palette knife and we'll probably be using this one and this one as well so what i'll do show you my colors first so we're going to rock with some arc orange by eye candy some firebird red by eye candy I've got Cherry Red by Eye Candy, and I've got one of my favourites, Senshi Red. So I'm sort of thought since it was a special occasion, we had the challenge called out that it was to be under five colours. So I've done that. I'm rocking four. So what we'll do first, I think, is load up this first palette knife, and I'm going to change it up this time because I always use Black CA when I do these with this palette this um sorry this color palette so i really want to see because i've got the black and white pillow i just want to see what the effects are going to be like with the white because i'm hoping really hoping since you're all watching that it's going to be a good outcome but we'll soon find out right so let's load up these colors start with our firebird red really is a beautiful neon red that for my candy there's only one that i've seen that's just as dazzling and that is this little piggy's inferno that is just an absolute stunner too all right so what I'll do, I'll just load it up. I'm doing a little bit to the side, so I do apologise that you don't get to see it all on camera, but every time I try and move my angle to do this so everyone can watch, it doesn't end up well. But I will show you exactly how much I have down on here so you can sort of judge for yourself if you want to have a go. So that's my palette knife. You can see it's really not that much that you can't turn her around and it's not going to drip off. Alrighty, so let's go for our first one, I think right up to the top here. And that's what we want. Okie dokie. Now the reason I was sort of thinking of doing the... Um, the black with the, the white sorry with the black lines through it is you can see what happens the way the black works its way through it, yeah it's really coming out with some cool effects there so I think what we might do now is grab the smaller palette knife out because they're a little bit smaller they're not going to take as much paint and I might do those a bit finer Because I'm sort of winging it this week. I just um, thought it's good to just have a play day sometimes. Just relax, grab the paints out, have some fun. We tried this, um, I think it was last Saturday. Wombat and I were playing with these, but with um, blooms. So I'll put that um, video up on the screen too in case you missed it because really cool one for beginners that um, struggling to get their paint colour right to the edge of their canvas. 
just something different to try. I think I'll start with this one first. There we go. We'll load her up again. See what I was so excited this for this week coming. I've been waiting and waiting for the tea bag collaboration to join us because I just think it's so cool when you have 20 minutes of each artist and there's always something so much different to see and you can learn so much by just watching different people, different styles, different techniques and it's a lot of fun in the live chat too isn't it guys? You can ask questions, have the artist there at your fingertips, pretty cool I reckon. All right, let's go for this one. No, oh, the cool black swirly there. All right. Fresh paper towel will be good because it's sticking to my hand. Now. Sort of like a fire tree now. I think sometimes too when you just have a play day you just you really don't know what to expect until you get to the end that can be a really cool adventure geez I love that firebird red just gets me that color something about it oh another one too with the um, cherry red that color I remember the first time Darren showed me, I sort of thought that it was like a, just a brownie, sort of not very attractive at all. But when you get that colour, if you ever, you know, go out and buy yourself some, how that colour actually interacts with other colours, it's really beautiful. It um, really does some amazing effects. It's definitely one worth a try from my candy, that one. That's why I use it quite a bit. It's not because of the colour it is itself. It's um, sometimes to me it's what it does with other colours. That just gives it that wow factor. Really cool. I think I just got a blob. Yep. Like you found that little critter. Get rid of that. There's a blob in my firebird. We can't have that. I'm gonna wreck my day. Okay, last colour going in. So just in case I didn't show, we're just using the small one now with around that much CA. Okay. Now I'm gonna turn this way. There we go. Alright. I think now it is time to get our skewer out and have a play with these, I think. I'll leave that one bold for a minute. Sometimes it's good, especially when you've got a floating pillow, is just to have a semi-play, I'd probably say, until you have a spin and just see what way the paint's going to move and what it's going to start to do. Sometimes that can be sort of the smarter move. So bubbles might not get carried away, and I think we'll have a spin first. Okay, get it going a bit more, not too fast because we just want to make sure we're keeping as much control of that as we can. I just want to get the pillow to move right out, just to the edges. Once I see it sort of gets to the edges then I'll stop 
and that's where I sort of call it the halfway mark. So if you want to have a play and get more defined lines, this is where I think it's your chance to do it. All right. That was pretty cool, right? I think that worked out a-okay. -okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smile politely and maybe happy dance later. I'm really liking those effects. I hope you guys are too. I'm going to leave all that because I think that's really going to open up nice when we spin it right off. Sometimes I think the hardest part of any of this type of um, art is knowing when to walk away and just leave it alone. And I really think that is the hardest part to do. All right. You know what, we might just, because it won't be a bubbles painting, unless I put one shoelace in. Just one today. I think that's all she really, really needs. Or maybe one there. Do we do it? Do we do it? Do we not? Yeah, come on guys. One shoelace. There we go. Let's give her a spin. Get some of that excess running. Jeez, I really love, I'll tell you what, I'm glad I used that little bit of black pillow now because I think it's made a big difference to the colour palette with the white CA. Yeah, you know what, I think, it sort of looks different on all angles, I think I really like it that way though. Alright, so what I might do is get my amazing cameraman, aka Wombat, to give you a close-up of that one so you can see the different effects too because you can actually see where it's just the white CA here with the cells and then you come into the black which is pretty cool I reckon so hopefully you're enjoying that close-up because I think that looks pretty cool the different effects through that something different for everyone to try and have some fun with why not so once again, I just want to thank the amazing Teabag Collaboration for joining us today. Absolute honour to have you with us. Thank you so much. And next up after me, we have my amazing big brother and my big sis, Tony and Cat Pender from the Hippy Dippy Painter Man. And if you haven't subscribed to their channel, please do. Same as Shambi from Shambi Fluid Art. We are trying to get these amazing artists up to a thousand subscribers. So come on, everyone. Get behind me. Help us out. So that is it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Till next time, stay safe, take care, and I will see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching.